Have you ever wondered how fast we can travel in space or what it would take to reach the farthest edges of the universe? Today, we're diving into one of the most fundamental and fascinating concepts in physics, the speed of light. We'll explore why it's so important, what it means for space travel, and whether we could ever reach the edge of the universe. Buckle up, this is going to be a journey like no other. Light is the fastest thing in the universe. In a vacuum, it travels at a staggering 299,792 kilometers per second. That's about 186,282 miles per second. To put that into perspective, a beam of light could circle Earth 7.5 times in a single second. This speed, known as C, is not just a measure of how fast light moves. It's a universal constant that serves as a cosmic speed limit for all matter energy and information. Whether it's visible light, radio waves, or gamma rays, every form of electromagnetic radiation travels at this same incredible speed when in a vacuum. But here's something fascinating. Light doesn't always travel at its top speed. When it passes through materials like water or glass, it slows down, bending as it changes mediums. But in the vacuum of space, it travels at full speed, unimpeded by anything. The speed of light is much more than just a number. It's a cornerstone of modern physics. In 1905, Albert Einstein introduced his theory of special relativity, which fundamentally changed how we understand space, time, and motion. At the heart of this theory is the idea that nothing can travel faster than light in a vacuum. Here's why. As you approach the speed of light, the energy required to accelerate an object increases exponentially. At the speed of light itself, the energy demand becomes infinite making it physically impossible for any object with mass to reach this speed. This speed limit also means that the universe has a built-in delay. Light from distant stars and galaxies takes time to reach us, so when we look into the night sky, we're actually looking back in time. Because light travels so fast, it's used as a cosmic yardstick to measure distances in the universe. A light year is the distance light travels in one year, which is about 9.46 trillion kilometers or 5.88 trillion miles. Let's put that into perspective. The moon is about 1.28 light seconds away. The sun is about eight light minutes away. The nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, is roughly 4.37 light years away. Beyond our galaxy, the numbers become truly mind-boggling. The Andromeda galaxy, the nearest large galaxy to the Milky Way, is about 2.5 million light years away, and that's just scratching the surface of the observable universe. So, what lies at, at the edge of the universe? First, we need to understand what we mean by edge. The observable universe refers to the part of the universe we can see, limited by how far light has traveled since the beginning of time, about 13.8 billion years ago. But here's where it gets tricky. Because the universe has been expanding since the Big Bang, the farthest galaxies we can observe are now 46.5 billion light years away. This is what we call the cosmic horizon. Even if we could travel at the speed of light, reaching the edge of the observable universe would take billions of years. And beyond that horizon, the universe likely continues, but we'll never see it because its light hasn't had enough time to reach us. Why can't we just hop in a spaceship and travel at the speed of light? Well, there are some significant challenges. One, energy requirements. As we mentioned earlier, the energy needed to accelerate an object increases dramatically as it approaches the speed of light. For anything with mass, reaching that speed would require infinite energy. Two, time dilation. At near light speeds, time would slow down for the traveler relative to an outside observer. While this could make interstellar travel feasible in theory, it complicates the relationship between the traveler and those left behind. Three, cosmic radiation. Traveling at such speeds would expose a spacecraft to intense cosmic radiation and collisions with even tiny particles, which would carry massive destructive energy. Scientists are exploring theoretical ways around these limitations, such as warp drives or using wormholes to shortcut through spacetime. While these ideas are fascinating, they're purely speculative at this point. Light isn't just a cosmic speed limit, it's also our primary tool for exploring the universe. Telescopes like Hubble and James Webb use light from distant stars and galaxies to uncover their secrets. By analyzing this light, scientists can determine a star's age, composition, distance, 
and even whether planets around it might support life. The redshift of light helps us understand how the universe is expanding, while techniques like gravitational lensing allow us to see objects that are otherwise too faint or distant to detect. Without the speed of light, our understanding of the cosmos would be vastly limited. Let's dream big. What would it take to travel to the stars? While traveling at the speed of light might be impossible, there are concepts for reaching a fraction of that speed. Solar sails, powered by the sun or lasers, these lightweight sails could accelerate spacecraft to significant fractions of light speed. Antimatter engines, these could provide incredible amounts of energy, but require technology far beyond what we have today. Generation ships. These massive spacecraft would house multiple generations of humans, allowing them to travel slowly across the galaxy. While these ideas remain in the realm of science fiction, they highlight humanity's determination to explore the stars. The speed of light is more than just a number. It's a gateway to understanding the universe and our place within it. It's a limit that challenges our imagination, a tool that reveals the secrets of distant galaxies, and a reminder of the vastness of the cosmos. What do you think? Will humanity ever overcome these challenges and reach for the stars? Could we one day see beyond the cosmic horizon? If you enjoyed this journey through space and time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more cosmic explorations. Thanks for watching, and remember, our curiosity is the engine that propels us forward into the unknown.